Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for yet another installment of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. Today we're having a look at uh, this brew here, OJ Premium Strong, which uh, comes in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. It's brewed and canned over in uh, Belgium. So uh, yeah, it'd be classed as a strong lager, strong beer, or a uh, malt liquor if you were uh, in the States. So uh, let's uh, crack open this can. It's been deep chilling in the Swill and Grog beer fridge for uh, some time now. Uh, I procured this at uh, First Choice Liquor. Yeah, I think it was $24 for a four pack, which, uh, yeah, well, it's, yeah, not very good. I mean, um, to those of you outside of uh, Australia. Um, yeah, in terms of, uh, you know, getting a bit of bang for your buck, but, uh, you know, considering the ABV, uh, yeah, it's it's not too bad in that respect, but still, yeah, I mean, an absolute rip-off with all the tax that's uh, applied to it. Anyway, so uh, let's get a look at the uh, appearance of this one. Well, it's a reasonably clear golden color, quite uh, effervescent. Uh, but a finger of bright white frothy head there. Hmm, I'm already uh, smelling the aroma uh, actually. Yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, sweet malt, bit of citrus coming through, but uh, yeah, without even yeah tasting it, I can definitely tell it's gonna be quite tangy. Hmm, radio, well, um, yeah, time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So, uh, cheers to you all. Let's dive into this one. Hmm. All right, well, up front, yeah, a really big uh, hit of, um, you know, sweet malt. Yeah, no bitterness to really speak of. Yeah, but that... Uh, sweet malty taste really does linger in the palate and it's got a nice sort of zing to it uh, as well yeah well let's have another gulp hmm all right well with this one unlike the uh, anchor and godfather you can definitely detect the uh, alcohol presence in this uh, it's got a, a bit of a you know a boozy note um, I suppose you could say but it's not altogether bad um, you know because of that yeah I'm liking the uh, overall taste of this brew and you know its body I suppose is somewhere between medium and full leaning towards full uh, yeah it's not too bad but um, I've certainly, you know, tasted better strong lagers or malt liquors. Uh, yeah, the price point, as I said, was, um, yeah, I mean, okay by Australian standards, taking into consideration the ABV. Uh, but still, I mean, uh, yeah, by world standards, an absolute rip-off. Hmm. It's drinkable all right. Um, but you certainly couldn't session it. Uh, I think a couple of these and uh, you'd be quite pleasantly toasted getting, uh, you know, that nice uh, nice beer buzz going. Hmm. Yeah, so all in all, not too bad, but I'll have one last gulp, I suppose, and give it a score out of 10. Hmm. Rightio, well, it's okay, um, it doesn't blow my mind. Uh, it could be a little bit, you know, smoother. Uh, but it's still probably one that's worth checking out. So, uh, I'd probably give uh, OJ, premium strong beer, uh, a 7.25 out of 10. So uh, there you go, folks, a 7.25 out of 10 for OJ, premium strong beer. Radio, well, uh, I'm just going to kick back and uh, drink down the rest of this. And I'll see you all in the next review. But until then, fare thee well, all.